Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng mga systems of linear inequalities. At sa pagsagot ng systems of linear inequalities, kailangan alam na natin kung paano mag-1. Mag-graph ng linear equation. 2. Mag-solve ng linear inequalities. At yung pangatlo, mag-graph ng linear inequalities. Nang tatandaan natin sa pag-graph ng linear inequalities, alam natin dapat kung paano mag-shade above the linear or the line of an equation at below the line of an equation or an inequality. Kapag nakakita kayo ng greater than or greater than or equal to symbol, kailangan yung ishade ang linear inequality above the line. At kapag nakikita nyo sa line na ito na ang slope ay going up, ang shaded region above the line would be this part of your um, graph doon sa inyong linear equation. So ito yung shaded region ng above the line kapag ka ang inyong linear inequalities na ginagamit ay greater than or greater than or equal to. Kapag ka ang linear inequality nyo naman ay gumagamit ng less than or less than or equal to, kailangan nyo namang shade yung region below the line. At sa puntong ito, ang inyong shaded region which is below the line should be shaded tulad ng example na nakikita nyo ngayon. So yan yung pag-shade ng region na below the line. Now, Umpisahan natin ang pag-graph ng uh, linear inequalities of the form y and then inequality mx plus b. So for example, meron tayong linear inequality na y less than 2x minus 3 at kailangan natin i-graph or i-represent yung solution set ng y less than 2x minus 3. So sa pag-graph ng linear equation, ay parehas lang ito ng pag-graph ng linear inequality. So magsisimula tayo sa y-intercept, which is yung negative 3, at from there, makukuha natin yung second point ng line by going 2 units up at 1 unit to the right. So sa pag-graph ng line, you always move to the right at never to the left. At since ang inyong uh, inequality ay less than symbol, gagamit kayo ngayon ng broken line. So broken line ang ginagamit natin kapag mag-graph tayo ng less than at saka ng greater than symbol sa linear inequality. At since yung ating inequality symbol ay less than symbol, shade natin yung ating region below the line. So ito yung shaded region ng ating y less than 2x minus 3. So again, kapag meron kayong greater than or less than symbol na walang equal to sign doon sa inyong inequality, broken line yung gagamitin natin. Sa example number 2 naman, mapapansin nyo na parang parehas lang yung ating inequality. Pero ang kaibahan nga lang ngayon, yung inequality symbol natin ay greater than or equal to. So sa pag-graph ng 2x minus 3, parehas lang siya ng ginawa natin kanina, you will start at the y-intercept which is negative 3 and you move 2 units up at saka 1 unit across kasi yung ating 2x ay pwedeng i-represent ng 2 over 1 or 2 units going up at 1 unit going down. I mean, 1 unit going to the right. So, ito ngayon yung ating 2 points at kapag kinonect natin yung 2 points, alam natin na makakakuha tayo ng line. At sa puntong ito, yung ating line will be a solid line kasi yung inequality symbol natin ay greater than or equal to. So, yung shaded right, um, region natin ay above the line kasi greater than yung symbol niya. So, ito yung sh shaded re region natin ng above the line. So, once again, kapag ka ang ating inequality symbol ay greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, yung ating linya na gagamitin ay solid line. Now, minsan, kailangan nating mag-solve at mag-graph ng simple linear inequality, tulad ng example na ito. Let's say meron tayong 2x plus 3y greater than 12. So, sa pag-solve and graph ng linear inequality na ito, kailangan nating... Um, gawin or kailangan natin isolve si y. So, ang una natin gagawin is to get rid of 2x by subtracting 2x on both sides. So, yung ating inequality ay magiging 3y greater than negative 2x plus 12. At since yung y natin ay meron pang 3, so, i-divide natin yung both sides ng inequality ng 3 at ang matitira na lang natin sa ating inequality would be y greater than negative 2 over 3x Plus 4. At ito ngayon yung gagamitin nating inequality sa pag-graph ng ating um, linear inequality. 
So, kailangan natin ng xy plane at since yung ating graph ay nasa slope intercept form na, uunahin natin yung y intercept which is positive 4. So, yung positive 4 ay nandito sa taas na bahagi ng ating xy plane. At since yung slope natin ay negative 2 over 3, ang gagawin natin ay mag-move tayo ng 2 units pababa mula dun sa ating y intercept at 3 units naman to the right. Again, we always move to the right and never to the left. So, ito ngayon yung ating susunod na linya na igagraph natin para makuha natin yung ating linear inequality. So, since meron na tayong two points, ang ating gagamiting line ay broken line kasi yung ating inequality ay greater than symbol. At since yung ating greater than symbol ay greater than symbol, so, kailangan natin shade yung ating region above the line. So, yung above natin ay nandito sa bahagi na ito ng ating uh, uh, graph. So, ito ngayon yung ating solution set ng ating linear inequality. So, yung tatlong examples na pinakita ko ay ang mga linear inequalities na kung saan iisa lang yung ginagamit natin. Now, sa system of linear inequalities, mapapansin nyo na meron na tayo ngayong dalawang um, linear inequalities sa isang problem. So, sa pag-solve ng system of linear inequality, which means meron tayong two or more linear inequalities sa ating graph, ang gagawin natin ay una, igagraph natin yung linear inequality na nasa itaas at yung linear inequalities na nasa baba. So, yung nasa itaas natin is y less than 2x minus 3. So, sa pag-graph ng y less than 2x minus 3, tulad nung ginawa natin kanina, magsisimula tayo sa negative 3, going 2 units up and 1 to the right. So, ito ngayon yung ating graph ng y less than 2x minus 3. So, meron tayong broken line kasi yung ating inequality ay walang equal sign sa baba nito. So, since yung ating inequality ay less than, ipig sabihin, shade natin yung region ng ating first inequality below the line. So, since tapos na natin yung unang linya, igagraph naman natin yung pangalawang linya, which is y greater than x minus 1. So, alam natin na yung ating line will be a broken line at magsishade tayo above the line. So, yung x minus 1, you will start at y equals negative 1. You move 1 unit up and 1 unit across. So, ito ngayon yung ating linya for x minus 1. So, since yung ating x minus 1 ay greater than symbol or y greater than x minus 1, yung ating shaded region will be above the line. At ito yung ating shaded region ng ating y greater than x minus 1. Now, mapapansin nyo na meron tayong intersection doon sa um, itaas na bahagi ng ating graph. So, ang gagawin natin ay tatanggalin natin yung uh, shaded region doon sa yellow at saka sa blue part kasi ang solution set ng ating system of linear inequality ay yung intersection ng region ng ating line 1 at ng line 2. So, ito ngayon yung solution set na tinatawag sa system of linear inequality. So, yung maliit na region na yan, yan ngayon yung ating solution set ng ating system of linear inequality. So, yan yung pagkuha ng solution set ng linear inequalities using the graphing method. So, kailangan lang natin i-graph yung unang linear inequality, yung graph ng pangalawang linear inequality, at kukunin nyo yung intersection ng inequality para sa inyong solution set. Now, sa so example number 2, meron tayo uling dalawang system or dalawang linear inequalities na gagawin natin or isasagutin natin sa pamamagitan ng pag-graph. So, yung una nating linear inequality is y greater than or equal to negative 4x. So, ang ating slope ay negative. So, pababa yung ating linya starting at 0 kasi wala tayong y-intercept or yung y-intercept natin is at 0. So, yung 0 natin ay mag... or yung line natin ay mag intersect sa 0. So, ito ngayon yung ating line or yung first line ng y greater than or equal to negative 4x. Again, kailangan alam nyo yung pag-graph ng linear equation bago kayo magsagot ng systems of linear inequality. So, since nag-graph na natin yung line ng negative 4x, kailangan natin ngayon siyang shade above the line. Kasi yung ating inequality symbol ay greater than or equal to symbol. At ito ngayon yung region na above the line of negative 4x. So, since tapos na tayo dun sa first half, Doon sa second half naman natin is yung graph ng y less than x plus 5. 
So yung y less than x plus 5, yung ating slope ay positive at yung ating line will be a broken line. So yung start nyo would be at positive 5 and then you move 1 unit up and 1 unit to the right. So ito ngayon yung ating line ng ating x plus 5. At since yung ating inequality symbol ay less than symbol, mag-shade tayo ngayon below the broken line. So ito ngayon yung shaded region ng ating y less than x plus 5. At tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, ang solution set ng ating system of linear inequality will be the intersection ng ating region 1 at region 2. At ito ngayon yung ating solution set ng systems of linear inequality ng ating example number 2. So ito yung pagsagot ng systems of linear inequality at kung uh, natutunan nyo at nagustuhan nyo yung video ko, please hit the subscribe button at saka mag-share na rin kayo ng video ko para sa kaalaman ng inyong mga friends at mga klase. Thank you!